Good morning and welcome to Ignite this morning. I do hope you're well, I do hope you're enjoying uh, the summer holidays, you're finding loads and loads of things to do. You're getting outside, enjoying the sunshine and enjoying everything uh, that's out there. Today we're going to read from Matthew chapter 15, we're going to read verses 10 through to 28, and it says this. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand, what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. Then the disciples came to him and asked him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this? He replied, Every plant my heavenly Father has not planted will be pulled up by the roots. Leave them. They are blind guides. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. Peter said, Explain the parable to us. Are you still so dull? Jesus asked them. Don't you see that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and then out of the body? But the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart, and these defile them. For out of the heart come evil, evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. These are what defile a person. But eating with unwashed hands, that does not defile them. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to a region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from the vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word, so his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. Now I'm going to pop some discussion questions up on the screen, so feel free to pause the video, discuss them with those around you, or just think of the answers on your own, and I'll be back in a minute. So in the first part of this passage, in verses 10 to 20, Jesus teaches those who are around him a very, very important lesson. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees at that time were teaching about unclean and clean foods. And if you ate an unclean food, it was considered similar uh, to a sin, something that would make God unhappy. However, Jesus comes in and says, there is no unclean food. It was all created by God. And as such, whatever goes into your mouth cannot make God unhappy. It is instead what comes out of our mouths that we have to be careful about. By this, Jesus means the things that we say. It's what we say that people can quite often remember. As humans, we can quite often be quick to say things and then we can regret it later. Maybe we don't think about it carefully enough before we speak. Jesus is warning us of this. Be careful about what you say, as this is more likely to end up causing you to sin than anything that you could eat. The passage then moves on uh, to the story of the Canaanite woman. At first, Jesus seems harsh towards her. He doesn't really even seem to say anything, and the disciples try to remove her to get her to go away. Jesus seems conflicted by the fact that his mission was to save the lost sheep of Israel. But this lady knows her stuff. She recognises Jesus for who he is, the Messiah. She calls him the son of David. She kneels before him the same way you would before a king. She's identifying Jesus as the rightful king that he is, as the Messiah, the son of God. And Jesus sees this great faith. And he says to this lady, your faith is so great that what you've requested has happened. Her daughter is healed by the power of God through that encounter. In this passage, Jesus blows open a massive plot twist. 
the power of God is not just for Israel. God's love, God's forgiveness, God's power are for everybody. Stereotypes are thrown out of the window when it comes to God's love. And therefore, we should all do the same. Let's pray. Lord, we pray that you would help us to throw away any stereotypes that we might hold. That we might see the whole world like you do, as children of God, as our family. And may we treat everybody with respect and kindness. and Help us to be careful of what we say. Help us to follow how you would want us to talk to others and to stray away from sin. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me this morning and I do hope to see you again next week for our next Ignite session. I'll see you then.